Welcome back everyone. It's Kathy with Bridges Stamping. Today is the last week in our Christmas in July celebration, but it's not the end of, the, it's actually the beginning of the mini catalog and sale, the new celebration, which starts August 3rd. Um, keep subscribed to my YouTube channel. I'll be doing catalog walkthroughs and we'll be looking at some more celebration items and we'll be moving on to Halloween and some fall holidays. But today we are going to be making a variation of this card. Now, this is the Sweet Little Stockings stamp set. Um, also comes as a suite with matching dies and this gorgeous paper, which is where I got the little doggy from. And we're using some of that uh, glitter paper from the Celebration Catalog. So let me just move the stuff out of the way. That's just a little bit of stamping to do today. I have a base that's cherry cobbler that's the color that's in a lot of the christmas paper um, in this mini catalog it's a nice um, dark red i have the inside which says christmas greetings i like the christmas greetings it's a nice bold stamp that's going to get glued to the inside and then these are our pieces for our front now this is the dog that i as i said i just cut from that paper using my paper snips made it easy and then this I use from the color and contour dies because I realized that the dies I used for this one um, are retired. Uh, but you can use whatever you have. This is also paper from that set. Okay. Oh, and the back of that doggy paper is also nice. It's also that cherry cobbler, but I like the doggy so much that they're going to uh, mostly be what's used. This little Santa hat I stamped and cut out with the dies from here. There's a lot of really good dies in this set. Um, all of the little animals have their own die, the stockings. Um, they have different dies for the parts of the stockings. So if you wanted to put some felt on them, they have a really nice tag die. Um, so it's really, really worth it for the variety of what you get. So let's put our card together. Actually, first let's stamp, right? So we're gonna kind of plan where we're gonna put our doggy. So we're gonna stamp the peace, love, and kisses. Doggy kisses, apparently. I wanna make sure I get ink because I don't wanna screw this up on camera, which, oh boy, we'll see. <laughs> okay. And remember with the photopolymer, you gotta hold it a little bit longer. Oops, I hit my light, but other than that, the stamping went fine. Okay, move that ink and the stamp out of the way. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna glue the dog onto um, our little base here. Just get my silicone craft sheet. And remember not to put the glue out by the tail because the tail's gonna hang off a bit. It's just gonna a little bit of glue here. It's okay that he hangs off that's part of the charm and our little Santa hat which I colored this using a Stamping Right marker and a blending marker we're just gonna stick um, a dimensional on the back so it pops up a little bit Let's see a dimension and we're gonna put that on his little head like he's wearing the hat okay so then let's um, glue the card together. So we have our Christmas lights and the back is that pool party color. So after Christmas, you can still use this paper for other things. I'm getting better at gluing things together. Okay, so this is, as I said, that glitter paper from Celebration. And let's see, I'm just gluing this as well. It's four inches by one and a half inches. We're putting this in the center. I had cut the designer series paper at four inches by five and a quarter. That's kind of my standard um, mat. So you can see that pretty cherry cobbler around the borders. And then our little doggy is going to get popped up with dimensionals. Now I've been making a lot of Christmas cards. Um, 
If you are a follower on my Instagram page, you'll have seen some of them. If you are not, the link is in the description. I'm gonna show some now, but if you want a closer look, that's the place to go. The paper this year is really standout. Okay, and there we go. There we have our adorable little card. Now, and I'll just go to the basin later. Okay, so some of the other cards I've made with this set, actually I've only made one with this set, and this is I use the, the, the stamp doggy. Santa Claus is coming to town. I tried to color him the same color of my dog, so he's kind of like that little orangey and white. And then I used a different set, the, um, the Christmas Tiding set, which is in the annual catalog. I did one of those one sheet wonders, but it was a six by six um, version of it. And I've got these amazing layouts. And what's nice is that the paper is really the star of the show. And you can figure out which layout you like the best. Oops, sorry. But really, if you just had one stamp set and a pack of paper that you liked, you could use something like this. Like for example, the gingerbread set. I only bought the paper, I didn't buy the stamp set. But I used the Holly Jolly Wishes and I just made a bunch, same layouts of the cards. But the, that Holly Jolly Wish is a really good stamp set. Now, lastly, I, have, I, I wasn't lying, I have made a lot of Christmas cards. Um, this, I will have to put the paper in the description. This is that really pretty um, snowflake paper. It's got the iridescence. Now I did a one sheet wonder and I wasn't 100% happy with every layout, but what's nice is that I got a chance to experiment with, oh, I really liked how this one came out. The uh, Misty Moonlight with the pink and the iridescent. And I used some of those um, faceted, um, those are in the new catalog as well, gems. I, I liked some layouts better than others, but this gave me the chance to experiment, to try out different colors, to stretch my creativity. My son likes to say to expand our creativity. Um, this is that new um, ribbon, the white um, organdy ribbon that's in the catalog. It actually goes really well with this paper. And I tried pink. So these are very non-traditional uh, Christmas colors. And as I said, all of these, this is probably my, also my favorite. I use some of the pearls, Casey. That was cool. All right, so they're all on my Instagram account if you want closer looks. Um, if you need a stamping up demonstrator, please uh, leave me a note and stamp on.